Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the different properties of a quadrilateral. And uh, maybe to be specific, this will be more on the parts of a quadrilateral. Okay? So, um, firstly again, quadrilaterals are just simply figures or plane figures or two-dimensional figures having four sides. Okay? Four sides. Okay, and there there would be a different uh, there would be different kinds of quadrilaterals, but we have already discussed that in our um, family tree of quadrilaterals. Okay, so uh, moving on to the different say parts of a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay, so the very first one. Let's uh, maybe let's zoom out a little bit and have our figure here on our side. Here. Yeah, this would be a. B, C, and we have, let me move this a little, okay, there, we have letter D, okay? So, very first one is uh, what we call the vertices, okay? Vertices. So, when we talk about the vertices, uh, these are just basically the edges of the quadrilateral. And the corners pala, the corners of the quadrilateral. When we talk about the corners, these are these points. This point in the A, in the B, in the C, and in the D. So, these are your vertices so we can name this one as our um, vertices um a wait lang for i'm uh, undoing a little bit okay we can name this as uh, vert vertex a vertex a a b c and d and basically these vertices are just simply points okay because they are just locations of this from um, specific um uh point a okay so um we have also, um, by definition, we have this thing we call the opposite and adjacent, okay? Opposite vertices are just simply vertices from this point and then this point. They are pair of vertices that are opposite each other. So, okay, so let's write that down. Opposite. So, when we talk about opposite vertices, this would be ver vertex A and C. And when we talk about adjacent, adjacent vertices are just simply vertex that are beside each other. So, point A or vertex A is adjacent to vertex B or also point A is adjacent or vertex A is adjacent to vertex D. Ito, so, that, that is basically the concept of adjacent and opposite. Adjacent is katabi, opposite is on sa kabila, sa kabilang side. Okay? So, that would be for the vertex of a quadrilateral. And basically, quadrilaterals are named based on the vertices quadrilaterals are named based on the vertices okay so later on we will be discussing a little bit about that so next one um, we have our sides so sides are just simply the edges of your quadrilateral pag sinabing edge yung uh, this one this one a b n and unlike vertex vertices sides or the edges are basically um lines okay vertex are basically points and sides are basically lines so we can um name the sides by just simply taking all the letters that is included in that figure say we have this again a b c d okay this is side a b ito yan side a b and we will also have side a d this side side a d and this is side DC, and this is side BC, okay? And we name sides by just simply putting a straight line above the pair of letters. Kasi this would denote that this is a line. Again, sides are basically lines, so therefore, the name of that side is or should be a combination of the letters including included in that given side as well as a bar above. So, ito yung combination ng letters A and B. And a bar about, above indicating that it is a straight line. Okay, so we can name this as side AB or line segment AB or line AB. We can also have line BC and so on. So sides are basically, again, lines. So we must name lines properly by putting a bar above. Okay, and then we also have this uh, what we call the opposite and adjacent sides. So, when we talk about opposite sides, these are just simply sides that are opposite each other. Okay? Opposite each other. So, for example, these are your opposite sides. Yeah. 
A, B, and B, C, they are your opposite sides. But when we talk about the adjacent sides, these are the sides that are beside each other. So we have A, D, and B, C. They are beside each other. Okay? So again, for opposite, just an example, segment AD and segment BC. And for adjacent, we have segment AD and segment BC. AD is also adjacent to AB, right? Kasi they are ano, um, beside each other. Okay? Adjacent. Sorry. Kulang ng T. Okay? The next one being angles. Now, angles are just simply formed by two sides. Angles are formed by having two sides. So, what do I mean by that? Remember, um, vertices are here and uh, sides are here. Okay? And angles basically are just simply um, figures formed by having um, two lines or two rays meeting at a common point. Ito yung dalawang line mo or dalawang ray mo meeting at a common point, which is called your vertex. Or just like in our figure, may vertices ka. So, this would be your angles. Okay, this would be your angles. Ayan. These are your angles. Okay? So, angles are formed by having your sides. And how do we even name angles when it comes to a quadrilateral? We name it by just simply taking the two ends here. For example, I mean taking first the vertex. This is your vertex and this would be your angles. Angles included in the letter. Okay? The vertex is always in the middle and then the um, ends. Okay? The ends. For example, angle B, um, B, A, D. Angle B, A, D is where? This is angle B, A, D. This one. Okay? Angle B, A, D. And, yan, ito. I'll just point it here. And next, we have angle... A, B, C. It's here. Why is it here? Kasi this is your vertex, the middle one, the B. So, therefore, it's here. Okay? So, it's somewhat similar to vertices and, ano, vertices, wherein the angles can be located near the vertices, but not exactly the vertex itself. Okay? So, the angle is just simply the measure of the opening of your given um, side, vertex, side, vertex, wait lang. The opening of your side, vertex, and side. Okay? So, that would be your angle. And, of course, we also have this thing we call the opposite and adjacent angles. Opposite means, opposite angles just simply means the angles that are opposite each other. So, we can say that angle A, B, C is, adjacent, is opposite angle A, B. D, C. So, yan. Okay? And, we have the uh, adjacent. Adjacent angles are basically angles that are beside each other. So, we can have this side angle, um, this angle, and then this angle as our adjacent angles. Okay? So, we can have it as, say, adjacent angles. Angle A, B, C, and angle B, A, D. They are beside each other. Okay? So, that would be for the angles. And, um, you might ask, paano mag-name ng angles? Pwede magbaliktad. Okay? So, angle B, A, D is also the same as, congruent as, angle D, A, P. Long as the vertex is not changing. Okay? So, I'll leave that to your understanding. Let's go now to our um, fourth one. Being the diagonals. Yan. Diagonals. So, diagonals are just simply um, not necessarily um, immediate part of our quadrilaterals. Okay? They are just constructed parts of our quadrilateral. Constructed parts of the quadrilateral. Okay. So, they are just simply the line from one point, let me write down, line from one point in one point from one vertex to its 
opposite. Okay, so opposite daw ng 1 from 1 point to, uh, 1 point from 1 vertex to its opposite. So for example, we have this vertex. The opposite of this vertex is this one. So therefore, if we connect these two points, we will create what we call a diagonal. I hope that it will automatically be straight. Okay, this would be your diagonal. Okay. And how do we name the diagonal? We name the diagonal base again class on the letters that is involved in the line. And looking at the figure, the letters involved in this specific line, this specific diagonal, are just simply points A and C. So we can say this as the diagonal is line AC. Another one, diagonal here. This is segment BD. And in any figure, in any quadrilateral, there can only be two diagonals. Kasi there will only be one pair of um, opposite sides, uh, opposite vertices on our quadrilateral. So there will be only two pairs. Okay? <clears throat> Let's we'll have the last part. It's not necessarily a part, but this is how to name. How to name a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Okay, so how do we name quadrilaterals? We name quadrilaterals by just simply um, creating like a box and writing the na the letters of the vertices. But when you write the letters of the vertices, you have to make sure that you follow either clockwise, sorry, clockwise, write it properly, okay, clockwise or counter clockwise. So what do I mean by this? You cannot name quadrilaterals by just simply picking the letter. Say I have this given um, quadrilateral, this one, okay. This is A, sorry, it's too ugly. Say it's this A, B, C, D. You cannot name this quadrilateral as quadrilateral A, D, B, C. Because when you try to follow the letters, this would go like this. A from A going to D going to B, and going to C. So, it's confusing. When we try to name quadrilaterals, we name it by following the order of their um, rotation. So, we start from A, then we go to C, and then we go to D, and then we go to B. Okay? Or it could be the other way around. Being the other way around, it could be, say, we have a from A, papunta sa B, and D, and C. Okay? A, D, A, B, D, C. Let me make this in. Okay? So, that is how you name quadrilaterals. By just simply taking the vertex and, of course, taking the proper flow, either it's counterclockwise or clockwise. You cannot skip a letter. Okay? Skipping a letter would mean that it's not your quadrilateral. Okay? So, let's say we have another one. Let's say we have a rectangle here. We have X, Y, E, D. Okay? So, if we try to name this quadrilateral, this should be quadrilateral X, E, D, Y. Or, quadrilateral um, E, D, Y, X. Or, quadrilateral X, Y, D, E, and so on. Okay? Kasi you might ask, Sir, do we only start from the upper right corner? No. You can also start here. You can also start here. Say we have this is quadrilateral B, E, X, Y. Okay? So again, long as you follow the letters properly, the proper flow, either it's clockwise or counterclockwise, then your figure would be good. Okay? So let's just have a review. Okay? So firstly, um, our vertices are basically points, and they are just labeled as the letters itself. And there are two kinds. I mean, two types, basically, for all the given parts, we have the opposite and adjacent. For opposite, on the other side, for adjacent, katabe, or beside it, okay? For sides, we, sides are basically lines, so we name the lines based on the different letters, or the two letters that is involved in that figure, okay? And we have two kinds, we have the opposite and the adjacent. Sides are the edges, and vertices are the corners, Okay? Next, we have the angles. Angles are also beside the vertices and they are also in the corners. 
of your given quadrilateral. But angles are just simply measure of that sim uh, opening on that given vertex. Okay? And angles include, angles include two sides and one vertex. Two adjacent side and one vertex. Okay? Then we have also opposite and ad adjacent angles. And next we have diagonals. Diagonals are just simply lines that is formed from one point in the vertex to another, or to an opposite of that vertex. Any diagonal or any figure pala, will only, any quadrilateral, will only have two diagonals. Okay? Two pairs of diagonals. And diagonals are basically pairs of opposite vertex vertices okay opposite vertices and lastly we have how to name a quadrilateral um, we name quadrilateral by following the clockwise or counterclockwise flow of the letter in our figure following it strictly okay you cannot skip a letter okay or you cannot ignore one you just simply need to follow the flow either clockwise or counterclockwise and we name a quadrilateral by just simply putting a box it could be, say, a rectangle, it could be a square, it could be a parallelogram, and so on. Okay? Long as it's a four-sided figure that you will write, it would be read as, say, okay, um, A, B, C, D. This is read as quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Okay? So, if you would have any other question in our... um. Lesson, you can go over the video again or you can chat me in our chat box. Um, thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.